Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here, your source for gaming tech emulation and open source news. In this video, I'm going over my top picks for Linux distributions that you should check out. Let's get started. All right, to kick things off, there's a whole bunch of different flavors of Linux out there. Some are purpose-built, for example, some are focused on gaming. Some are focused on media, some are focused on hacking. Some are focused on programming, and there's a whole bunch more. On top of that, Linux is highly configurable. You can kind of make it any way you want. On top of that, you've got flavors of Linux that are Arch-based, Debian-based, OpenSUSE-based, Fedora-based, and even more. And on top of all of that, you've got different desktop environments that can completely change the experience. So it's pretty safe to say that with Linux, the world is kind of your oyster. There's not one flavor that's gonna satisfy everybody. And these are my top three picks for general purpose use. Anyways, my first pick here is good for people who are experienced with Linux, but also safe for people just getting into it. And that is Endeavor OS. Endeavor OS is Arch-based. If you wanna be on the cutting edge of things, if you don't mind getting your hands dirty, if you like tinkering around with things, or if you wanna learn in a relatively safe environment, Endeavor OS has you covered. In my opinion, Endeavor OS is an easy way into Arch Linux. The installer is simple and straightforward and provides you with a desktop environment of your choosing right out of the gate. The only downside with Endeavor OS, and this is highly debatable, but at the same time, it's not necessarily a set it and forget it operating system. It is cutting edge. Sometimes updating something will break something else. Sometimes you have to get your hands dirty and fix an issue. If you don't like doing that, if that's intimidating for you, Endeavor OS may not necessarily be for you. But at the same time, since this is basically Arch Linux with a desktop environment, there is a ton of support for this out there. The last thing I'm gonna say about Endeavor OS is, again, since it's Arch based, it's got a lot of software support. If you use Endeavor, let me know in the comments below. If you use Arch, let me know in the comments below. The second flavor of Linux that I recommend is, no surprise here, Linux Mint. This is one of my go-to recommendations. To me, this is truly a set it and forget it OS. It's very easy to set up. It's great to transition to from Windows and it's highly maintenance free. In my opinion, Linux Mint is one of those super stable operating systems that just works. If you need something to be dependable, if you need something to breathe new life into old hardware, if you need to set something up on someone's computer who is not necessarily familiar with Linux, Linux Mint is probably the way to go. Now there's two main downsides to Linux Mint. The first one is that it's based on Ubuntu, which in turn is based on Debian, so it's kind of a fork of a fork. Some people don't care about that, and to the people who care about that, there is a Debian edition version of Mint, which completely takes out Ubuntu. The second drawback to Linux Mint is a result of it favoring stability over cutting edge changes. So for example, if you've got a very modern CPU, you might be missing out on some performance and optimizations. Linux Mint generally uses an older Linux kernel. However, that being said, there is an edge version of Linux Mint that tries to bridge that gap with using a much more recent kernel. I am a big fan of Linux Mint. It's one of those distributions that just works, and I really like their Cinnamon desktop environment. The third and final distribution I'd recommend is Pop! OS. Now, Pop! OS is very similar to Linux Mint in a number of different areas. They're both based on Ubuntu, which in turn is based on Debian. They're both, I find, very stable. And Pop! OS I find very beginner friendly, especially if you're coming from something like Windows. If you are coming from Windows and you've got a laptop, I'd recommend using Pop! OS first. One of the big benefits with Pop! OS and laptops are that things are generally configured correctly right out of the gate, especially if you've got a discrete GPU. For example, if you've got an Intel CPU with integrated graphics, and you've got an NVIDIA GPU with dedicated graphics, and sometimes you wanna switch between the two, for example, using your Intel GPU trying to save battery, or using your NVIDIA GPU playing a game to get that extra power. Well, Pop! OS has got you covered left, right, and center. For example, here's a fresh install of Pop! OS up on my laptop, and if I click on the battery icon here, then click on fully charged, you can see I'm currently using integrated graphics. The reason being is I need to turn off my GPU so that the fan noise isn't interfering with my recording. 
if I'm playing a game, I can switch this over to NVIDIA graphics without issue. Now, in fairness, you can easily get this up and running in something like Linux Mint or Arch Linux or really anything else, but at the same time, out of the box, Pop! OS does it best. Now, in direct comparison with something like Linux Mint, I would argue that Pop! OS takes a less stable approach. I would argue it's still stable, but at the same time here, I would argue it's much more up-to-date using a much more up-to-date kernel and system components. I would argue there are three downsides to Pop! OS. The first one is that it does use Ubuntu as its base, which again is based on Debian. So it's kind of a fork of a fork, a similar problem to Linux Mint. The second downside to Pop! OS is a small one, but arguably it's still there. And that's that it's a little bit less stable than something like Linux Mint. Since this does get updated a little bit more often here, sometimes things break and I would argue it's a little bit more of a hassle to figure out what exactly went wrong with the update. Although you are in full control considering it's Linux, the way Pop! OS is set up and customized is a little bit confusing from time to time when something breaks. However, for full transparency, I generally find Pop! OS to be problem free, so it's a minor downside. But it does lead into the last downside about Pop! OS and that's the heavily customized desktop environment that is GNOME. I am not a fan of Pop's desktop environment currently. GNOME I find to be a little bit bloated and sometimes buggy. However, again in full transparency, at the time of filming, System76 is currently working on their own desktop environment, and that is called Cosmic. It's written in Rust. It's set to release sometime in 2024. So if all goes well with Cosmic, I've got very high hopes for Pop! OS, and I think it might be the preferred derivative of something like Ubuntu or even Debian. And finally, I get asked quite a bit as to which Linux distribution I use, and my answer here will vary depending on where I am. I distro hop quite a bit. I like to test out different flavors of Linux and see how they are. But I generally come back to three main ones. The first one being Endeavor, the second one being Linux Mint, and the one I'm currently using is Pop! OS. I'm currently using a laptop as my main PC and Pop! OS just works wonderfully on it. The biggest thing I need when it comes to Linux is stability. I can't spend time figuring out an issue and trying to make things work because I produce a video on a daily basis, or almost a daily basis. And that's one of the reasons I use Mint and Pop. But anyways, that is all I've got for you in this one. Straight to the point, all stuff and no fluff. Let me know your thoughts about my choices in the comments below. And let me know your favorite flavor of Linux in the comments below. I like to test out a whole bunch here. There's a lot of awesome flavors. And I'm a firm believer of not one distribution to satisfy everybody. There's a whole bunch of different choices out there and it's fun to experiment. If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button. Check out my other videos. Don't tempt fate. Save your state.